Hello everyone, in this video I will talk about the requirements or the qualities that you must have in order to get the scholarship. So first requirement is your grade point average. High grade point average makes you more eligible for different kind of scholarship. So the one of the first important quality that can make you eligible for a scholarship is your GPA. Try to, if you are studying still your bachelor degree, try to keep your GPA high because it will help you to get a scholarship in your master degree. And second quality that you have to have is the work experience. It can be uh, volunteering, it can be any kind of unpaid work or a kind of assistantship, anything that can be considered as a work experience which is directly related to your studies during your bachelor degree. Try to find any kind of work that you can uh, improve your practical skills while you are studying. It will be a second important case uh, or second, second important quality that you must have uh, when you finish your bachelor degree in order to get a scholarship for your master degree. The third uh, important quality you must have is your English or the language that you want to study in. You have to acquire an additional language in order to get a scholarship. It is usually English and usually it's, if it's IELTS you must have at least 6.5 uh, overall score and not less than six in each section. So try to make your English as strong as possible or as proficient as possible in order to get in order to be eligible for a different kind of scholarship as well. So this is a third requirement for getting a scholarship and the fourth uh, requirement of eligibility or the quality let's say is going to be your motivation letter. Uh, your motivation letter explains why you want to study in this specific area and what is your future plan. The stronger your motivation letter is the bigger chance you have this getting this scholarship. So try to write the perfect motivation letter and before you write motivation letter please read about how to write motivation letter in uh, Google or in try to watch YouTube videos about writing motivation letter. There are tons of materials about that, how to do it. So after acquiring some specific knowledge about how to write motivation letter, try to do your best to write your own motivation letter, not tr try to copy anyone. Try to create your own by looking at examples. So this is the force requirement, so the force quality that will make you eligible for a scholarship. And the fifth one is, I think that people forget about that most, that people don't tell you, try to apply as many scholarships as you can. This is the first, uh, this is the most, I think this is the one of the most important key in getting scholarship. So applying as many scholarship as you can makes your chance bigger to get a scholarship. Some people apply for one scholarship during a one year and then wait for the result and in the end of the year he finds out that of course or she finds out that the probably the scholarship he's not eligible for the scholarship and then he had to he has to wait for one more year to apply for another scholarship. So in this case try to apply as many scholarship as you can in order to be eligible at least for one or two that you wouldn't be wait for many uh, years to get one scholarship. Let's say you have already applied many scholarship and your uh, your let's say qualities is not eligible for getting scholarship anywhere in the world. Actually, it is a little bit um, impossible because usually there are scholarship that you, even you don't know, but there are scholarship and some people get the scholarship. Only thing you have to do is to look for them and to apply for them. But let's say that you didn't get any scholarship and you need to study abroad. Try to find the countries which which offer you. Uh, education, free education or at least uh, cheaper education which can be Eastern European countries or some free education countries like uh, Germany or uh, some countries like uh, Norway or Finland and there are some European countries which offer uh, education with minimal expenditure like uh, like a 500 a year uh, it's like a tuition fee it's very low amount of tuition fee but in addition you must have uh, your money to, to live there and this is this is the requirement for living expenses so basically these are the requirements for getting a scholarship abroad if you have these qualities this is for sure that you will be able to get a scholarship to study abroad